It's about remembering. To remember and return to who we really are. From my own struggles with depression, the therapies I tried, and the faces I hid behind. I knew why I was the way I was, but still I felt trapped by it. It was many years before I realized that all along the answer lay inside of me, not through words or through my intellect, but through emotional expression. I came to realize that what I thought was depression was in fact unprocessed grief. And not just grief in bereavement, but grief as in loss. We all experience loss. Loss of love, friendship, relationships. Loss of trust, purpose. Lost opportunities, loss of identity, time, youth even hope. And in the Western world, we are often unable to deal with loss. Suppressing our grief, we suffer more loss as we lose our passion, our energy for life itself. Existing as I did, but not truly living. I am a mother and I am a child. I am black and I am white. I am my future, my present and my past. In going back to my African heritage, I see how rituals can support us to grieve and heal and to return to our true spirit. Rituals to open our hearts, express our feelings and be witnessed in doing so. We were wounded in community, in family, in school, in society. So we must heal in community. We are fundamentally tribal beings. We belong together. And it's what so many of us still yearn for. Connection. We all have a child within waiting to be remembered by the adult we have become. Only when we return and accept all that we are can we come back to our true self, our innocence, our purity, our wholeness, the very essence of our being, crossing over from the shores of our past and stepping fully into the present towards the future of our choosing. It's about remembering, reopening our wounded hearts, and then daring to live and love from this true place. It's about freedom. <laughs>